Folks, thanks for coming here to this site and doing your due diligence. Wouldn't it be great if folks running for office would simply stick to the truth and stay out of the mud and never lie? Maybe focus more on what they bring to the table and share their vision for our country? But the world isn't made up of unicorns and rainbows, now is it? Folks, I've accrued a rock solid conservative voting record, so much so that my opponents aren't even challenging my record. One of my opponents in particular has chosen to viciously and falsely attack me personally and I've had enough, hence this video. Fortunately, his lies are provably false. He's told so many of them, I don't wanna waste your time debunking them one by one. So let's address his latest, more scandalous and scurrilous lie. The gist of most of the fiction he's been peddling is that I made a pile of money somehow over the last year in Congress with all this knowledge I've accrued. And that's a complete and utter lie. So a bit of background, I am a successful businessman. Uh, I was long before I got to Congress. In fact, long before I even ran for city council 13 years ago. I'm a completely self-made guy. I started with $80 out of my house 30 years ago and built it into a successful business. I've lived the American dream and I'm blessed. So it's sad to see a person in a Republican primary using Marxist tactics like injecting class warfare. It's bizarre. Anyhow, back to his mailers. My opponent, who is two things he's consistent about. He's consistently lying and he's consistently polling in the single digits. He sent out a few mailers. And this one, you know, accused me of profiteering while in Congress. In his latest campaign mailer, he claims, and I quote, Fallon made millions in stock trades with information he gets from his committee assignments. He said here that I made millions in the one and only year I've been in Congress. Unfortunately for him, here's the truth. My actual stock statements. In 2021, the Dow Jones Industrial rose 19 percentage points, the NASDAQ rose 21 percentage points, and the S&P 500 rose an impressive 27 percentage points. My active trading account rose a pitiful 5.1% in that time. I actually did four times worse than the lowest index fund. The account was just under $3 million and yielded 5%, 143 grand. Now that is a far cry from his lies of millions that he's claiming, or better stating, of course, lying about. And it's sad. His entire pathetic candidacy is based on lies. He really doesn't have anything else to talk about. And people have picked up on that. That's again why he's consistently polling so low. And I don't care a hoot about what he thinks, but I do care about what you think and about the reputation that I built for honesty, integrity, and candor over the decades. He's already sent a few mass texts littered with deceptions and now these two mailers. And it's, you know, the campaign's winding down, so you might see some more. But it doesn't matter because now you know their lies and now you know the truth. You know who else knows the truth? President Donald Trump has endorsed me for re-election. So has Senator Ted Cruz, so has Congressman Jim Jordan, over a hundred of my current and former colleagues. And I love, and you know what else? The NRA uh, as well, Susan B. Anthony, and I'm A plus rated by Heritage Action. Several local grassroots conservative groups have also endorsed me and thousands of people across our district. I love the proverb, the truth shall set you free. And that's true. Let's not reward anybody who bears false witness against thy neighbor. Folks, I'm Congressman Pat Fallon. Early voting runs through February 25th and election day is Tuesday, March 1st. The polls are open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. For polling locations and times, please feel free to visit fallonforcongress.com backslash vote. Thank you again. God bless you and God bless Texas.